What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am Brian and I'm here today with what should be a pretty quick one unless I get very confused. In this pack I have a GWA convertible deluxe in ballistic nylon and this was a pre-order that took about four weeks to be made it's my first time seeing a convertible deluxe. It's basically a small sort of pouch sling. But the cool thing about it is that there's supposedly four ways that you can carry this. And I believe they are as a kind of waist fanny pack, as a sling across the chest, as chest carry, which is the configuration that I'm particularly interested in. I really want to try wearing this kind of here and keeping it in place and see how I like it. And then as a plate carrier drop down, so if you had a plate, you could actually Velcro this right to the front. So let's check it out. Overall, it's pretty straightforward. I love that it is ballistic nylon and that it's black. It should go well with just about everything and it should be incredibly durable. I've come to really expect quality from GWA products and just in hand initially, this really is no different. The zippers are fantastic. This is actually designed to match the Mariner Crew Citadel. And so we've got this kind of marina blue interior. It's quite nice. Overall, I'm interested mostly in figuring out the chest carries. So let's look at this briefly. We do have a front pocket. It does have liner on the back in the Mariner blue. It is unlined on the front and it has two pockets. And then the main compartment has loop field on both sides. It's lined on one side in Mariner blue, unlined in the rest, and it does have two sort of drainage ports at the bottom. Overall, it's a very straightforward design, but it should be very usable for carrying kind of essentials that you always want on you. And it comes with what should be three straps. One, two, three. And I actually have to figure out how to configure this for chest carry. So let's do that and see what we come up with. All right, so I've been experimenting with this and now I actually think I have a slight modification to the setup that I presented that actually fits more in line with what I've seen in the GWA official photos of the convertible deluxe. And that is to actually move the connecting clip from this position to the side and the slick clip from this position to the top. And after I do this, I will explain why I think that's useful even though I haven't actually tried this yet to confirm. Okay, so I'm gonna have one clip and one slick clip up top. And then the connecting clip, I'm gonna move to the side. So this is gonna be a little bit asymmetrical, but it has to do with usability, so I realized when I try to put this thing on and off easily and efficiently that the best way for me to do that is to have this strap attached at the start and you basically put one arm through and then over your head and now it's kind of in place. Now with this other clip on the side, instead of having to wrap it from around my side up over my head, I can actually drop it over my head like this, bring it around my arm, and fasten it in that way. So I actually think that's a much more efficient approach. So I'm probably gonna run with a setup like this and then the last step is just wrap this around the back and boom, there you go. Now that's actually really easy to get on and off pretty efficiently. And so, you know, now it's off. I think that's the ticket, that's the setup. So if you wanna know how to set up a convertible deluxe, I would say one clip like that, one slick clip on the other side, the straps go across, 
to the opposite side in the top position. So left top goes to right top and vice versa. And then the lower goes around the back and boom, that's the setup. So again, that to that, that to that, and then the bottom to the bottom. Let's just try this again as quickly as we can, see how efficient we can be. And again, I think I'm just gonna leave this one always attached. So through, over, above, behind, and under, clip, around the back, boom, done. And now that that's done, it's nice and stable. I've got everything that I need right here. In fact, let's just do a pocket dump. I can fit my cell phone, wallet, keys. Let's put those in the front. I don't want those scratching up my phone or my wallet. And still plenty of room left over for additional accessories. So that's fantastic because this really actually opens up my closet again. Because with a daughter who's one years old, I basically exclusively wear cargo pants these days because I have to carry so much stuff. And I have so many pants, so many jeans that just have normal pockets. I've stopped wearing them because I don't have room to carry everything I need to carry. This actually opens up my closet again. So really excited for this and I think that's all I've got for this one. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you at the next one soon.